Hello crafty friends! My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And I have a question for you today. Do you enjoy giving gift cards for the holidays or special occasions, but don't always know how to wrap them up? Well, I'm here today to use my Xtool M1 and some files from Creative Fabrica to show you how you can give gift cards in style. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Last month, I shared a video here on my channel where I unboxed and used the Xtool M1 laser and blade cutter to create three quick and easy projects. That video, as well as links to the Xtool site and the M1 machine specifically, can be found in the description box below. Now, while I know most of you are here for my paper crafting videos, I thought maybe some of you were like me and would like to see these as well. Maybe you're in the market for a laser cutter. The Xtool software does have links to a library with cut files, but I thought today I would tell you about another source, and that is Creative Fabrica. They reached out to me wanting to know if I would like to give their All Access Pass a free trial. I was familiar with the site already. I peruse it from time to time and sometimes get their freebies. And since I had just gotten the X tool and they had lots of laser cut files, I'm like, why not? What do I have to lose? And I have to tell you, it came in very handy for today's project. Now do make sure to keep listening because I have an offer for you to get your own free trial. One of the things that I've seen people create with their laser cutters are wooden gift card holders. So I went to Creative Fabrica and I searched for wooden gift card laser cut file I think and lots of options popped up and I'm sharing some here on screen. Now I did decide on this final one that I'm showing you, the one that looks like a present or a gift, I thought this would be more all occasion and year round. Now if you don't have a laser cutter but you have an electronic cutter, they also have files that you could cut cardstock and make gift card holders. You can always go browse their collection even if you don't sign up for an account. Once I found the gift card holder that I wanted to use and downloaded the file, I brought that into my Xtool Creative Space software and then I spent some time getting all the pieces moved around so it would fit on my piece of 3mm basswood. Now while I do that, I do want to tell you about some highlights of Creative Fabrica. Up on screen now is a look at the numbers of different types of fonts, graphics, classes, even needlework templates that are in their collection. If you would like to try out the free trial like I did, you will have access to all of these and be able to download 10 files for use. Up on screen now is a little look at that. If you do continue with it, it is $9 a month, but if you sign up for a whole year, you get it as low as $60. One bonus for me was that these files come with commercial licenses. Now while I don't sell my creations, if that's something you wanted to do, that is an option. I do want to make you aware that if you sign up for the free trial, you do have to put in billing information. But the good news is you can cancel at any time before your trial is up and you won't be charged. Gonna be honest with you, I was a little leery of this putting in my own, but I have successfully gotten my free access for the month and canceled it so I won't be charged. To get more information for yourself to find out if this is right for you, make sure to check that description box for links. 
If you are a Creative Fabrica subscriber, let us know in the comment section below what your favorite feature is. I hope you enjoyed getting to see the X tool work its magic as I cut out my piece of basswood. Now once all those pieces were cut out, I did bring them to my desktop and using a baby wipe, I went and wiped all of the edges and a little bit on the front. Just because this is burning wood, there are some ashes left over that you'll just want to wipe off before you continue. I'm going to go with more of a traditional Christmassy feel here, so I got out some red and green paint, and you could definitely paint this with a brush for full coverage, but I'm going to bring in another baby wipe, and I'm going to be sponging the paint on with that. I added some of each of the paints to a little paint palette, and I separated my wood pieces by which color that I would be adding to them. Now this piece here, it's actually going to be sandwiched in between some of the others, so I'm going to set it to the side because it won't be painted. To help a little bit to keep the pieces in place while I wipe on the paint, I put each piece on a strip of painter's tape. Now what I'm going to do is bring in that baby wipe, I put it right over the tip of my finger, dip it in the paint and start wiping that onto the wood piece. You can kind of see here, it looks like I am staining the wood rather than painting it. You can still see that wood grain through the color, and I just like this technique better. This is a new one to me, I've only tried it a couple times, but I really like how you can see that wood grain. I continued with the green until all four pieces were done, then I turned my mat around and added the red to the other pieces. Once the first coat was in place, I let these dry for about 30 minutes. When I came back, they were dry to the touch, and to help keep my paint moist while I was waiting for that to dry, I put it in a little plastic baggie. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing for a second coat. This is just going to make the colors a little bit darker. And once again, when I was done with this layer, I let them dry. To assemble the gift card holder, I brought in some all-purpose white glue, and really important to me was that it dries clear, and I also brought in these clamps, which I picked up at the Dollar Tree. To start, I'm going to be adhering the piece of wood that we did not cut to the bottom back of the gift card holder. To do this, I'm going to bring in my bottle of wood glue, and I'm just going to be using the glue that got caught in the cap and a brush. It's easy to pick up and then just brush on where you want the glue to go. Now when that is covered, I put my two pieces together and line them up nice and snugly so all of the edges match. When I have those lined up, I'm going to bring in two of those clamps so it will hold that in place and apply some pressure while that glue dries. I did have to take turns since I only had four total clamps, but each time I would let the glue dry for about 10 minutes before moving on. Now while I work on this, I did want to tell you some other ways that you could use this gift card holder. It definitely does not have to be Christmas themed. You could paint it or stain it in any color you want. And if you might have noticed on the original file, there was happy birthday that was going to be scored into the wood. I decided to leave that off since I was making mine for Christmas, but you could definitely do a Merry Christmas or you could do like to Johnny from Sue. Personalize this as much as you want. My thought for leaving this blank without any words on it was that the recipient that I give it to could then re-gift it with another gift card to another recipient and it could just be passed on and on. Another thing that I want to mention is earlier when I was staining the pieces, I only did the front side of the red bow. But once I had everything put together, I really thought since the back was green that the back of the bow should be red. So off camera, I did go ahead and add that color and I just used some painter's tape to make sure I didn't get any red where I didn't want it. Now once everything was together, again I used those clamps, let it dry well, and here are some close-up looks at the finished project. Let me know what you think in that comment section below.
I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this fun wooden gift card holder using Xtool and files from Creative Fabrica. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.